Hi, in today's video we will cover the post-processing of still frame renderings. Since everyone's got his, her own workflow and taste, take this course as a reference. Hopefully it inspires you in some way. When it comes to post-processing, channels are a must. D5 Render now supports export of AO channel, material ID, reflection, sky mask, transparent channels. Open the rendered image in your Photoshop, drag and drop the channels in. I'll start with AO channel, which brings a higher level of realism with detail on the corners of architecture. Change the blending mode to multiply, and set an opacity parameter that's not too high. Then, select the reflection layer, change blending mode to screen. Here we should also adjust opacity to control the intensity of reflection. Now let's add a new layer. Activate brush tool with shortcut key B, set opacity to around 10%, and pick a brighter, hued white color with a little bit of warm tone, brush it on the lighter areas. For the darker areas, brush with a cold dark black. Finally, change blending mode to soft light. Again, control the intensity by adjusting opacity. Merge a copy of all visible layers by pressing shortcut keys Ctrl, Shift, Alt and E, press Ctrl, Alt, 2 to load the luminosity of an image as a selection. Press Ctrl, J twice to make two copies, and change the blending mode both to soft light. Now the saturation seems a bit high, so I'll select the lower layer, press Ctrl, U to desaturate, then Ctrl, L to adjust the brightness and contrast of the image, since the bright part here seems a bit too bright. Move on to the upper layer, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, then adjust the saturation and level until you achieve a satisfactory result. Select the two layers and group them with shortcut key Ctrl and G, set opacity, and Ctrl, Shift, Alt and E once again. Get the color adjustments done in Camera Raw and that's it. This is how I handle post-processing in Photoshop to get the best out of my D5 renderings. The still frames I get from D5 are usually good enough, but mastering post-processing skills is always fun and useful. Have a try yourself.